Well, we start first at four with some breaking news. A jury is about to begin deliberating the case of Elias Dorsey, a man accused of 2020 killing of IMPD officer Brianne Leith. Thanks for joining us here first at four. I'm Nick McGill and I'm Aliyah Blackburn. Right now, the judge is giving jurors their final instructions before they get the case. Over the last seven days, the jury has heard from police, witnesses and experts who evaluated Dorsey's mental state. Fox 59's Russ McQuaid explains the challenges those jurors now face. This is day seven of the trial, perhaps the most complicated as jurors will begin to consider whether or not Elias Dorsey was insane when he pulled the trigger on the gun that fired the bullets that killed Officer Brianne Leith on April 9th, 2020. It was a blustery, chilly day during the first months of the COVID lockdown when experts say Elias Dorsey was in the throes of an acute psychotic episode as he fired blindly through a closed apartment door and killed Officer Leith on the other side. The testimony of seven doctors left no doubt as to Dorsey's deteriorated mental condition, his paranoia, his stalking behavior, his departure from reality. But the question remains, at the time of the killing, did he know that what he was doing was wrong or was he insane? And the juror's verdict rides on their understanding of the state's definition of insanity. A person is not responsible for having engaged in prohibited conduct if, as a result of mental disease or defect, he was unable to appreciate the wrongfulness of the conduct at the time of the offense. The state and the defense each had an hour in closing arguments to convince jurors of their version of the case. We'll tell you what they said coming up at 5 o'clock. At Superior Court, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News. Russ, thank you, and we'll continue to watch the courtroom this afternoon and bring you the jury's verdict as soon as it comes in. You can find the latest online at fox59.com and read our full reports from every day of the trial.